Hey guys, Kevin. Uh, today we're going to talk about those scanners, the uh, Offshack Pro 8000 series and uh, 9000 series. They have this problem. You have a document feeder jam, and the OSAT original is jammed, and uh, you can see a, a little video. And after it's showing the video, and uh, there's no way you can figure out what's happening. Of course, if you follow the instruction and uh, you found a piece of paper jam in there, and uh, this not this video is not for you, so you can just take that piece of paper out and you're done. And this video is for those who careful carefully examine everything, but still cannot figure out why. This white piece have nothing to do with it. For the printer to think there is a paper jam, you have to have some uh, electronical sensors. This part looks like uh, it has a sensor lever, but if you take a, a ADF, ADF and open it up, you'll find that the sensor is on this part. And this way thing, it just controls uh, one paper has to be completely removed uh, before the next paper can fit into the ADF. Uh, so we'll take a closer look of uh, this part. So when you scan, the paper going to roll over and press this lever down. And when that lever is down, it's going to make a, a piece of plastic moving away from an uh, optical sensor. This is what uh, the optical sensor look like. It basically detects if you have a piece of thing to block the light between the, the two columns or not. So if you have a piece of paper jammed here, uh, there's no way you can see it from the top. And uh, if you remove it, you find some dirt or something jammed it. Uh, that problem is the problem. Otherwise, check the uh, the cable connection, the FFC cable. Make sure the cable is inserted securely. Unfortunately, this lever cannot be easily accessed by just open up the cover. You will need to uh, uh, remove some screws. You will need a T10 drill bit. If you don't have it, you can go to bchtechnologies.com and just type in T10 and they should show you the show you the bit. Oh, of course, uh, your local Ace Hardware store should have this too. You will need to remove a total of eight screws from the top, and uh, four on each side. Anyway, if you see any screws facing up, remove it. There should be eight of them. Uh, now open the scanner and remove two more screws and take off this uh, a metal piece, and then get a flathead screwdriver to push this tab in, and another one on the bottom, push it in, and uh, this paper stacker can be taken out. Uh, for those spare parts, I'm going to put a link above, so you can just click if you need an extra stacker. And now we remove this long piece from the bottom. This long piece on the top is a uh, harder to remove. If you already see some debris gum up on the trigger, uh, you can just clean it without removing that long piece. Otherwise, uh, this is how you remove it. And uh, let me give you a slow motion. Uh, see the little box underneath my thumb? So basically, you have to um, bend towards, uh, I don't know, towards you and uh, remove it. Uh, when you put it back, it's hard, it's hard too. And you need to put a box in and uh, first, and uh, then uh, move, bend it uh, away from you, and I uh, will install it. Uh, if you don't see anything mechanically wrong, uh, for example, a piece of gum or uh, the, uh, the, the lever uh, that's a missing uh, a spring or something, and uh, it probably is something wrong is something wrong with the uh, uh, with the sensor. So just take the sensor out and get the multimeter and start uh, troubleshooting. Uh, if you just want to have a new uh, ADF uh, with, without uh, doing any uh, do the, do doing any more troubleshooting, you can go to bchtechnologies.com and uh, go to printer parts 
and under HP, and there's a scanner and ADF feeder. Uh, you can see this is today what we're talking about. Uh, with all the unit, you, you just use your finger, uh, dig it in, and open up this white plate, and uh, check to make sure uh, that uh, the lever is working, so the problem wasn't caused by the lever. Uh, now we're ready to disconnect the FFS cable from the, this old unit. So see, there's a little tab there. Just bend it. Pull on the black wire, and the whole sensor is going to come out. Now you can disconnect the FFC cable and uh, take out the old unit. If you bought a unit from BCH, you're going to have that uh, uh, FFC cable. So first thing you do is uh, remove that FFC cable and uh, reconnect with the cable from the printer. So now if I put something in between and uh, block the light, the, uh, the printer will think that there's no jam. So before I put everything back, I want to test this. So I put a piece of plastic in between and uh, just use some tape to secure it. Now the printer should think there's no, there's no paper jam. Power on the printer and there are no more errors. So this will, this will fix the problem. And uh, when you install it back, uh, make sure the uh, lever goes between the sensors and uh, test the lever before you close the white part, the, the white cover. Uh, the rest are easy. Just put it back. And uh, I'm going to slow down this part which you put the long piece on the top back. Remember, put the box in first, then bend it towards uh, uh, to bend it away from you, and that will work. And then put a stacker back, and uh, remember you have uh, 10 screws, 8 on top, and 2 more on the bottom with that metal piece. Okay, I hope this video helped you fix the problem. Uh, visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers!